How's it going, everybody? It's me, Shane, and I'm here to give you another Digimon Ghost Game episode review and recap. Today's episode is episode 8, and is the nightly procession of monsters. Something I already explained last time, which is... Uh, it's kind of like uh, the belief in Japan that the yokai come out and they kind of do a march, you know, down roads and down uh, streets. You know, it's why you should be in at a certain hour. It's kind of like the bewitching hour. And uh, that's where that name is coming from. That's kind of what that's based off of. And you know what? You know what else? Before we get any deeper, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I definitely, definitely appreciate it. So, let's get right on into this because I have feelings about this show. I said, I said I was going to give it to episode 10, but there are some glaring things, especially when I think about the show that I'm comparing it to. Um, I have not checked, uh, I'm comparing it to Digimon Tamers, and I'm also comparing it to Digimon, uh, Savers. I have not gotten a chance, I don't even think the show's actually called Digimon Savers, because I keep saying that, uh, I thought Digimon Next was actually the, uh, it is Digimon Savers. It's called, oh gosh, it's called Digimon Data Squad in English, that's why I keep thinking that I'm saying the wrong thing. But, yeah. I'm comparing it to those two shows. I'm trying my best to not compare it to 2020, but I do have a quick comparison for that at the end. So, <clears throat> we're giving the same old intro when it comes to the hologram thing. And, uh, yeah, that same old intro, you know, this time they show Clockmon. They're always going to show Mummy Mon with that yell that is very, it's a really good screen cap, that Mummy Mon yell. I won't lie about that. <clears throat> but now, we are shown the highway. There is a couple. I'm assuming they're a couple because I can hear a male and a female voice. They could be friends. Who gives a damn? I'm going to say couple. Um, the car is in automated mode. And, you know, they're driving and moving down. There's other cars on this highway. And suddenly, there's a thump, thump, thump. The, the freaking roof is starting to get dented and dented in. All the other drivers see the Digimon that I didn't even need Angoramon to tell me who it is. And this is part of my, part of me being upset, but I'll get into that in a minute. The Digimon is Sistermon Seal. That is Fresh Art by Kenji Watanabe. Here's, here's her card art, which almost risque. That's exclusive to America. Why is it exclusive to America, Shane? I'm glad you asked. Well, for whatever reason, there's two Digimon. There's Sistermon Blanc and Sistermon Noir. They both... They both look like straight up nuns. They are based on nuns and clerics, flat out. Um, they both have awakened forms and awakened form. Sister Minor, her breast has breasts are showing. It's just the same thing with Sister Mind Seal. But I digress. And apparently in America, you don't want anything to look like nuns because honestly, uh, for whatever reason, any religious iconography shown here. Even if it's something that is for parody or referencing, people like to go up in arms. And actually, that was very much true in the 90s because you got the stupid soccer moms that don't even really watch the shit that their kids watch. They're just going to see an image and make an assumption. But for whatever reason here, even in the card game where literally I can't see, where they're just censoring things because we're afraid of getting backlash. Honestly, who gives a damn? Because I certainly don't. But, yeah. This is the Digimon here. I will read this very quickly. Uh, she, uh, oh, but her first her first appearance ever was in the Digimon Cyber Sleuth game. She's the American uh, exclusive because... <sighs> stupid things like I explained. Also, in the Switch slash PC port of the Cyber Sleuth uh, double pack. They have all the DLC in that, and she and his sister Minor in that, so, yay. <clears throat> anyway, she's a champion-level Digimon puppet. Um, in this episode, she's Data, and she's been various uh, attributes, but usually associated with Data. Uh, it's Digimon wearing a veil modeled after a mouse. It is Sister Mon Blanc's elder sister, as well as the twin of Sister Minor. Instead of traveling together with Noren Block, it roams around the digital world investigating unusual phenomena and reports his finding to Gankomon. Gankomon is a mega level Digimon who I believe is also 
part of the royal knights. It's to do with the punchings. Because these three sisters technically help take care of uh, Hackmon. Not Huckmon. It's Hackmon. It's Hackmon. Uh, despite its gentle personality, it's strong-willed and popular with the Digimon residing in places it visits. While it is friendly and leads a peace on life day by day, uh, night it turns into an assassin who hunts down any troublemakers it receives word of. It has a cherry sword named Shirosume Ichimonji. Wow, I said that right in the first go. And its signature move is cutting down an enemy without making a sound. Shiro, Shiro, uh, wow. Shirosume Ichimonji Giri, which is just source name slash and cut. That's just all that is. Sword name and cut. Um, not only it utilizes various, not only that, but it utilizes various assassination techniques, such as storing two knives that hides within sleeves, yakusai, and luring the enemy in until they let their guard down and stabbing them with in their vitals at close range with knives planted in his feet. Toho. All three of those moves are actually mentioned when uh, looking at it in the uh, the little digital breakdown. <clears throat> but yes, I'm already six minutes in. I've, I've spat it a lot, and there's a reason for that. So, she's punching on this, and suddenly the fog is ro rolling in, and it's getting thicker and thicker. And now, I'm just going to spot the Digimon. I'm going to tell you this Digimon that I spot, because one of the downfalls of this show is they don't give you the names. Digimon 2020, they give you the names. Even if they didn't have a digital breakdown, just say this is the, the Digimon's name. I saw Kakatorimon, I saw two different Unimon, I saw two different Kiwimon, I saw the metal, it's a metal rookie Digimon, I didn't look up the name, I think it's Katagar, Katagarigurimon, Katagar, looks like a little electric beetle, that's a taser, um, not Mammothmon, this is an armor level Digimon that's based on an elephant, I don't know his name, I thought it was Mammothmon, but it's not Mammothmon, Thunderbeam, Thunderballmon, a Digimon that looks, looks like a variant to Honeybee Mon. It has that same symbol of knowledge on it, but it's red. Several of those, mind you. Uh, I think that's all of the Digimon. So, all these Digimon look, they look great. Like, the art for this show's been great. They, they're highlighted in associated colors. Uh, like one of the guys who's driving sees it, er, crashes. The next day, Kirishiro, he's reading up on it on his tablet. Jellymon comes sauntering in in her jellyfish form, and, you know, he hides what he's reading, and she went out at night, she, he, you know, she motions for him to undigitize her, which he does, and she goes into her long leg form, again, it is winter, so there, she's wearing a little winter shawl, very cute, and he asks her, you know, where'd you go, apparently she had some things to do, where well, you said that I was gone, and he just, of course, goes, yes, <clears throat> he gets a call from Hero, who, Mentions the highway accidents that he was trying to hide. He's saying, man, it sounds like a nightly procession or something. And Kirishiro repeats it. Remember, he's the guy that goes deep into things like curses and stuff like that. So he's probably thinking the same thing that... Probably thinking the same thing that this episode is named after. But meanwhile, Ruli, she's calling Hero. So he just puts, he puts her in on the call. And she's like, hey, I need you guys to help me with something. <clears throat> So, they all meet up, and they're at this highway where all this stuff has happened. Uh, Gamamon, he never goes digital for whatever reason, unless they go to the digital world. <clears throat> uh, Jellymon is, though. She is in her little digital, not fully physical form. And uh, they meet up with Ruli. She takes them to a go-kart place, which they say racing kart. They say it in English, but it's technically what we would call go-kart. That's what the translator put down. <laughs> And, um, so, apparently there's a sale going on, and she just wanted them to join them. Um, Kirishiro doesn't like these type of things, and Hero's willing to try anything. And she makes, she says something really funny about this is a thing that boys, you know, boys should enjoy to do. Really, really, really likes this, and she's really good at it. Like, she's running laps around Hero. When Angoramon asks Kirishiro, why isn't he doing it? He's like, it's kind of dangerous. And we get another zoom by, and we get the whole, we get a nice little John Wick moment from Jellymon, because the moment she's there, next minute she's not. Well, technically that's a ninja move, but I've been watching John Wick off and on for like the last five weeks, so. <clears throat> anyway, day slowly turns into twilight time, and, you know, place is going to close, but then suddenly this fog is rolling in, 
Kirishiro is moving forward from where the plot was coming from because he's just reading on his tablet while the others are racing. Gamamon is thoroughly happy that Ruli is really good at racing. He just loves it. Cute little baby. Anyway, suddenly, Sister Marcia is in a go-kart with a very crazy face, breaking through the barricade and racing past them. Um... She takes out her blade and she cuts like like uh, rubber tires and cones, trying to get Ruli to crash. And this is super hot character for that Digimon. Even what I just read to you, she only attacks bad things at night. She doesn't have a crazy face like that. She has. I love the pupils for those Digimon because she has crosses, nice, nice little uh, stylized Gregor Gregorian crosses in her for pupils. I digress. So Celia's driving crazily down the track. Jellymon appears with her little leg form and says she didn't expect her to, you know, use the cart that way because then she takes the cart and breaks through the place and goes on the highway. And they're like, so Kirishiro's like, so you know something about this? She's like, I'm the one that offered the cart to her. She's back at their usual place, which reminds me of Tamers there at this playground. And she tells them, you know, it's Sister Mind Seal. We get her all her data stuff. She says, This Digimon is obsessed with speed and will and wanting to be the fastest and the strongest. That is definitely not my Sister Mind Seal. <sighs> this is this Digimon cat character assassination, which is hilarious. Anyway, <clears throat> um, you know, Hero asked, you know, why did he do that for us? She said, Well, she asked me. To find a faster, strongest machine around, which we had a flashback of um, Jelly Mon showing her truck, but then she sliced up the truck. And then, you know, she says, Well, I offered her the go kart. And Kirishi was like, So you did that without permission? And she's like, Yep. This makes her less cute and more annoying. Jelly Mon doing things without talking to people. I guess she has a princess syndrome with the whole Sama thing. That is going to be very annoying. Because if you have a Digimon that's going to keep being the root of issues, I don't see why Angoramon or even Hero would keep dealing with that. With why they wouldn't just go, why do you, why don't you talk to her and tell her to stop doing that? So she's being a demon on a highway, seal that is, and so they're trying to uh, they they want to talk to her and tell her to calm down. And what? Uh, and what we end up seeing is that while she's driving, there's other monsters behind her. While she's giggling like a mad woman. And Gorma says she could be behind the monsters. So, since they all want to talk to her, and Jellymon's saying, yeah, she's not going to just, like, slow down for you. And Gammon eagerly says that Ruli is faster. So, and one thing to note, and Angor, uh, does not have any winter wear. His fluff is that thick. Because Gammon is wearing a nice little scarf while well, he was last episode. So, our gang sneaks back into the cart place. Because um, the cart place was closed. But both Ruli and Kirishiro are praising Hero because he can he can uh, do some lock picking. Because apparently at this go-kart place, the lock is not digital. I'm kind of surprised that not, you know, when I was thinking about it. Because Kirishiro mentioned, oh, analog, that's a pretty cool skill you got there. It's nice that each of them have a thing that they bring to the table. And I will talk about that later as well. So, of course, Sister Mon is there, racing on track, being dumb. Uh, Ruli and Hero jumping go-karts. They're going to go, go, go. And Gormon is going to be in the sky. Jellymon is finds a two-person cart. And she's driving. So her and Kirishiro, they all go. So... They all break off into the highway. And Hero was a hero. Hero does the tappy tap thing, sends them to the digital world. So this way they can be safe. Uh Ruli's pretty hyped to be on the highway while they're doing all this, even if it is the digital highway. So they're driving, and then all of a sudden there's tons of Digimon running behind and beside them. And they all have red dots on their head. I noticed this instantly. But this is when I realized it was not Mammoth Mon. <laughs> and a few of the one the mammoth mine goes, why are the humans here? And you know how did you you get caught up in the race? And suddenly, there's this massive black specter behind them, reaching like uh, 
like the the one of the bosses in Dark Souls 3. It's Metal Phantomon. Now we have definitely covered this Digimon because this is one of the Digimon that they fought in Advent uh, in Adventure Reboot 2020. Definitely, you guys should remember this. There was a bunch of Phantomon that turned into this and then turned into Goku Mon, and we had to have War Greymon handle that business. So I won't go through it too much. It's just it has a Reaper like Digimon. It's pretty scary. Uh, I'm trying to see if its move does exactly what it was doing inside of the show. Nope. Yes, it does. It has a move where it can use nightmares to devour the souls. Nope, it does not. So, again, does Digimon showing up three different times in the anime? This time in Ghost, Ad uh, Ghost Game, Digimon Adventure 2020, and Digimon Savers. Hmm. So... As I proceed, uh, Seal is just being a crazy asshole. She trips a Unimon now that Fan, uh, Metal Phantomon is there. He goes tumbling and suddenly slices with the with the scythe and gets absorbed into the scythe with his pink energy. And uh, I put in my notes: Why do Digimon in this show suck? Like you have, and Goromon is nice. Gammon is cute. Jellymon that is just like she's the lower tier of the good ones because she's she's not necessarily evil but she's fucking troublesome. Then you have everything else that's just you get the misunderstanding mummy, you get the dumb singing thing that's killing people, knowingly killing them while it's singing. All these Digimon are just freaking dumb. They're just Digimon seem like I I would be very surprised if there wasn't a Digimon hunter. That has another Digimon that's like, yeah, I hate all these things. I'm helping this guy kill them. But that would probably be too cool and make too much sense for this show. Anyway. There's one rule. So rule number one. Well, it has several rules. And not Mammoth Mon tells us. Rule number one, any Digimon that gets hit by the scythe gets absorbed into the scythe. Because we hear the Unimon saying, let me out. And I'm like, what? So one of the red uh, honeybee mons like, I can't do this anymore. Tries to fly away. Mm -mm. It gets absorbed. Rule number two. Any Digimon to try to pull away will get absorbed without question. And Angoramon says he understands what's going on now. Mind you guys, did I mention to you, if you pick up context clues, pardon me, quick drink. If you pick up context clues, I said in 2020 it turned into Goku Amon that War Greymon had to fight. <clears throat> so if his next form, War Greymon had to fight, that means that the Mega. Metal Phantomon is an ultimate Digimon. That's right. Another ultimate. Even though this time the troublesome Digimon is the champion, they still have to deal with an ultimate level Digimon. So, he's extremely dangerous. Why are you all racing against him? Is what he asks. It's Sister Mon's Seal's fault. They were all having fun just racing, then all of a sudden she summoned him and said this would be more fun. Again, I'd have carried it for Sister Mon's Seal. On top of that, this is incredibly stupid. Why are Digimon so evil and so dumb? Why are they so evil and our heroes haven't killed one yet? I'm going to go back to reading my notes and tell you what's going on. Rule number three, and they're asking like, how come they can't leave? Rule number three, those who are branded cannot escape the rules. So, all those red dots on their foreheads. Are actually tiny little skull marks. Then all of a sudden, Kyoshiro sees that there's a dot on Jellymon's head. She freaks out. Hero looks, there's a dot on Gammon's head. And when Rui says, What about you, and Goromon? Foop! There's a dot on his head as well. Somehow, just being there makes them branded. Sure, I'll take it. It's a ghost thing, or whatever. I'm not going to bitch about that one thing. But if they can stay safe and make it through the morning then they live to see another day so <clears throat> they can't call off the race the only person they can call off everything is, sis is sister Montiel who did this and she has another light post to try to fuck up everybody because which is weird because i don't get how no other digimon said i'm gonna do an attack on her to mess her up like no one ever went hey wind move or 
the honey stinger or thunderball shocker or whatever your damn moves are called. Lightning javelin because you got the unicorn thing, which he's has a slightly different design in here. Looks pretty, looks nice, but why didn't any of them ever try to attack her? Another plot hole. Maybe they're too busy trying to not die. I don't know. I would have tried to bring the asshole with me that's got me into this mess. Anyway, Hero's like, he wants to talk. She's not listening. Period. She's like, I'm the fastest and the strongest, the fastest and the strongest. Thunderball Mon is asking for help, and she ends up, you know, trying to cut him, and she skids him across the wall. He falls and gets absorbed. She's not going to listen to him. This is pissing, rightfully, pissing Ruli off. So, she just does a slipstream. And the uh, only time I've ever seen a slipstream that wasn't GTO was Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds. It's like, you're riding right behind someone that's going fast. They even do it in Talladega Nights of all movies. And you just use that momentum to go forward. She does it, passes her up, Gamamon cheers her on. Sister Marcel is making, of course, making excuses like, wait, that's not fair. You can't do that. Really calls her a loser, which, you know what? As much as I like Sister Marcel, she is a loser in this in this show. Straight up loser. So, Hero thinks, uh, you know, Hero's thinking of things. He's like, oh, yeah, Ruli's cart is definitely the fastest and the strongest. And before Ruli can disagree, he waits. Because instead of saying it's your skill, no, say it's your machine. Play along with the trick. And Seal asked Jellymon, well, how come you gave her the strongest thing? Why were you hiding this from me? And Jellymon's kind of confused, but really leans into it and says, yeah, thank you, Jellymon, for making sure I got this machine. So she wants to trade machines with her, she, and she'll do anything for it. And she says, well, do something about Metal Phantom Mod behind, her, behind us. She slows down, gets the little knives in her boot, throwing the knives at Metal Phantom Mod and jumps up and is now fighting, doing the, you know, the Ichimonji Giri. They're clashing, but their clash is just making energy and, and wind and everything move. I will interject in here. This was a really cool, interesting fight. It wasn't like a long set piece fight, but it was pretty interesting to see because can, canonically, Sister Mon still is that powerful. She is powerful enough to fight ultimate level Digimon. And you know, when she gets to her awaken mode, she can right there at the lower bit, like tiny little weak weaker mega level digimon she can handle but yeah she's strong enough to fight an ultimate that is very much true which makes you wonder why haven't the protagonist digivolve or evolve to handle this but okay and so the plan worked to get them to fight one another but it really didn't work which is what i think and gorman said it worked but it didn't work because now everything around is being destroyed and a lot of people are crashing and still getting absorbed. And go and the, the little elephant guy, the elephant mom that was so nice to them, he got absorbed. Ruli thought and Gorman got hit, but no, he's on the back of her thing. He's he's hanging on for dear life. Ruli can't go any faster, and they're gaining up. Jellymon tries to go behind and give her a push, but now she's out of gas. And Hero's machine has now overheated. They are going to be in trouble because they're going to get caught up in this fight, and they're still going to get absorbed or killed or whatever. And in my mind, and in my nose, I said, just Digivolve. Why the hell haven't you Digivolved? Really getting ready to die didn't push you to that? Kirishiro getting ready to die didn't push you to that? Can't mind, you've Digivolved several times into two different Digimon. What is going on here? So Goromon looks forward and was like, hey. Then we see that same Black Godomon from episode one with the hoodie. Love that design. Opens up a canister. And I rightfully said, it's open up it's opening up a gate. Is this for them to escape? Well, Angoramon says tells everybody to watch out. And I'm like, okay. So the gang rams themselves on the side of the digital highway or the this in-between world digital in between digi world highway. I I'm guessing that this world is similar to the network before you get deeper into the digital world. Like in 2020. So it's like that blue area, but it's not. It's just a up the upside down of this show when it comes to the real world and the digital world. So again, I'm yelling in here. This would have been a perfect time for Gormont to Digivolve, but okay. Um all Digimon are, are still running too fast to head forward. As a matter of fact, I noticed that Kiwimon and whatever Digimon that was next to it, I think it was another Thunderbolt Mon, they try to stop before they get to the gate. 
but all the other Digimon moving run into it. And Sister Ron Seal and Metal Fine Mon, they're still moving forward somehow. And she's like the fastest and the strongest. This is how she goes out. The gate flashes bright blue, bright energy, and comes to a close. You know, see that Gatomon do this. Then Black Gatomon, Black Tailmon, if you will, is gone. And they're all looking around, asking what happened. And Gormon tells them that was a gate. And Hero's wondering, so they went back to the digital world then. No idea. We all have no idea what happened. Um, <clears throat> let me show didn't fall. Skull symbols each fade away off of all of them. They they all said it worked for now. Now Kiro, Shiro's more worried about the carts being taken, while Hero's wondering about if they went back to the digital digital world, the real digital world, right? Not the in between world. Uh, rule and again. We are at the next day. I say again, but we're at the next day. That's where they're kind of having this conversation. And Ruli comes in and says, nice timing, because she has something else she wants to talk about. Go-kart racing didn't work that time, but she has another idea. And this time, Kirishiro is able to quickly back out, because he tried to back out before when they were there face-to-face, -face, and when he got the first phone call. Runs away, his screen says in Japanese, his full name has left. And Gorman's sitting on her bed reading, and he says... Fast like the wind, quiet like the forest, and running away like the fastest and strongest. I like I liked this ending to this one. And, um, yeah, next time is the return of Clockmon. It's called Warped Time. Something about humans like being on time, blah, 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 blah. You know, your life, if you slept all day in bed, you wouldn't be able to do blah, 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 blah. So, I'm going to give this episode the highest three we have moved out of five territory and i'm giving it a three not because it's average because i actually like i really really like that idea of like digimon death race It's literally digimon death race i don't like how it was solved at all fine part of me is also like why are we characterizing a normally benevolent virtuous digimon as this race crazed idiot, I've purposely not used the B word, race crazed idiot, fine. You wanna do that? I won't even take off points for that. I do take off points for your partners. We wouldn't call them tamers. Your partners are close to dying. Probably might die on both sides. Your Digimon might get absorbed, your human might get hurt. No one bothered to Digivolve. No one bothered to be pushed over that edge to becoming something else. Why is it yet another ultimate Digimon? Why are we dealing with, like, why are the Digimon in this show? There's no in-between. There's Like I said earlier, there's only three nice Digimon, and I'm putting nice quotations for Jellymon. I liked her before, but this episode's making me, this episode's like, if she does any more stuff like this, y'all need to check her. This cannot be the comic relief thing. Anyway. Why is there only three nice ones? Hell, you want to even include uh, Mummy Mon because he didn't try to do the, those things that he did? You can do that too. You can even include Pumpkin Mon or Pump Mon if you, if you will. Pumpkin Mon was, you know, thought the only way to make friends was to force people to. I will take those two Digimon for messing up and changing their ways. I'll take that. Clockmon should have been dead already. Draculmon is probably going to attack again. They probably have a tamer this time. They probably have the first evil tamer. Um, Mistymon, that was annoying. Sirenmon, sorry, I called him Sirenmon, Mistymon. Sirenmon was annoying. Yadagaramon was an interesting horror take. I enjoyed the horror take. I just it was kind of lame that it just kind of left. It didn't even really get beaten up that badly. Like, it stood back up and then just decided to leave because that wasn't the kind of fight it wanted. <clears throat> and we did get a bad human. That was the time we got a bad human. I've been giving out low fours, high fours, mid fours. This is the lowest. I'll give I'm gonna give it a I'm give it a high three. This is a high three. Cause I told you guys, I compare this to Sabres and to Tamers because 
I like the fact that this group, this these group, and I mean the children, the the partners, the the humans, they work very well together. They do a good job. I'm I'm believing that they are a functional team. You got the guy that says yes to everything, but has and because he's done that, he has skills in a little bit of everything. You have the literal genius who has his MBA, master's, PhD, whatever. He's a techno god. And you have the girl who is the savant. She plays piano. She's really good at racing. I think there's a lot of other skills that she has. She picks up on things quickly like the device. This is a great team. You have the cute baby Digimon. You have Engoromon. That is your data center. And you have Jellymon, which is... I guess Jellymon is Ampmon. You know what? I tolerate Impmon because I felt bad for him because I liked him. I'll tolerate Jellymon. You know, Impmon got his comeuppance. Jellymon needs to stop all that shit or she's going to get hers. But let's talk about episode. Episode 3, because of the fight between Renamon and Gilmon, Terrymon Digivolved. Now, next episode, they had to deal with him getting him out of that form. Next episode 5. Renamon turned to Cubimon to fight Ice Devimon to get back her partner. Two episodes after that, Gilmon turned into uh, Growlmon because he had to fight Devidramon. Devidramon is one of the upper ech echelon powerful champion Digimon. I liked how they how they tried their best in Tamers to stick with just fighting these champion level Digimon and rookie Digimon at their level with their cards and their strategies. Because they were afraid of not being able to change back. Because it's very awkward to hide a large dog rabbit with gun hands in your home. And when I looked up for Digimon Savers. Episode 2, Agumon turned to Geo Greymon. Uh, we had Galgamon in Episode 3. And I'm going to assume we got Sunflowmon. We got Sunflowmon shortly after that. There's no, there's no way that, yeah. We had Sunflomon before episode six. I said I'll give you to episode ten. I'm gonna keep my word. Because if we just start if we start getting I'm gonna just start grading on just story and uniqueness at this point. And and if I do that, it's gonna end up still being like threes and three point fives and and maybe fours. But fours like being like really, really good. But the thing that's bothering me is it doesn't feel like Digimon to me. Like even, I believe even Applemon. And I didn't watch Applemon, but I'm pretty sure that they still Digivolved in there. But yeah, they did Digivolve in there. Don't know if it took them this long, but... <sighs> and we can't use the excuse that, you know, it's just three of them. Dozen Tamers. They went to Champion. It took them a hell of a long time to get to Ultimate, and I'm fine with that but we're seeing ultimate digimon from jump and they have not been able to defend themselves and these are not these and these aren't just creatures that are misunderstanding things some of these creatures are just straight assholes like this version of sinistermon seal i believe uh was it yokomon the the you know the dark the black version of kiyubimon that digimon is like i hope the lady and they're just praising me. I'm just minding my own business. That's one of the few good ones that are out in the wild. There's two more episodes before I can fully go. Okay. I don't particularly like it. But. But. I'm giving it a chance. And I've already started it. So I'm going to keep going with it. I just. Uh. Yeah, I'm just going to start talking about the stuff I like at that point. If I don't see anything change, I'm just going to talk about what I like. Because now, if Gammon turns into whatever that dark form was in episode one, and Gormon can't fight him, Jellymon can't fight him, it's going to take Hiroshio pulling a Kagome hug to get him to change, and then the others are going to have to ponder their own power. But who knows? Hopefully in like the next two episodes or even past that, Hopefully I'm eating my own words. But please, we've gone on long enough. Tell me what you thought of the episode down there in the comment section below. Uh, give me a like. Likes really do help. They help promote the channel, help push us up a bit. And let me know if you guys are actually enjoying this. And as always, if you're new here, hit the note, not to hit the notification button, hit the subscribe button. And if you're not new here, hit the notification bell to get notified of more videos like this. 
Don't forget to share the video so others can see what I'm talking about here because I like Digimon a lot. Just trying to understand where this show is going, right? Uh, as always, I deeply appreciate you guys for showing up. Thank you so much. Please be good, be blessed. Wash your hands, wear a mask. Uh, be good to yourself, be good to others. Above all else, don't be a jerk. Uh, don't be a jerk. And I will definitely see you guys next time.